Hello again, my favorite group of Matt Savages, with gyms opening up again and people getting back to their favorite choking pastime. Well, maybe their second favorite one. Something I've been noticing is that there are a lot of beginners on the mats. And this could be people that did it for a couple months before the break and are back now, or people that are just starting out and it's their first week. Whatever the case, I thought it was appropriate to make a video that would be helpful for all those beginners that I would have found helpful back when I first started. So today, we're gonna be covering the first five moves that every white belt should learn. Alright guys, first of all, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jedi. In the six plus years that I've been doing Jiu Jitsu, I've competed in over 50 tournaments and I draw from that experience to make videos like this one every Friday where I give you guys practical tips that are going to help you deal with the problems you face on the mats. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Obviously, if you guys plan on getting good at Jiu Jitsu, you want to do it for a minute, which ideally that's the plan. Hopefully you guys are going to be doing Jiu Jitsu until your body falls apart. I know that's my plan right now. I guess we'll just have to wait to see how that goes you obviously will need more than five moves. However, the moves that we're gonna go over today are gonna give you guys the biggest bang for your buck, especially if you're a beginner. These moves aren't gonna take a ridiculous amount of experience and practice before you can start hitting them on the mats and then adjusting, fine tuning so that they match your own personal style. And they're also very effective. You're gonna be able to hit them from the places that beginners usually tend to find themselves from. Close guard, side control, mount. So we're going to start off with two submissions because it's really awesome when you hit your first submission. It really motivates you to keep coming back. One guard break because a lot of beginners tend to find themselves in closed guard a lot and they don't really know what to do once they get there. And of course we're going to go over two escapes because as a beginner, I know this is true whenever I first started, you're going to get your guard passed a crap load. And so it's important to have a couple go-to escapes whenever that happens to help get yourself out of those situations so that jiu-jitsu is a little more enjoyable for you to keep coming back and keep getting better at. First technique we're going to go into with the arm bar is a very versatile submission. Grab your partner's neck to break down their posture. Then you're going to step on their hip on the same side and push your knee up against their shoulder to keep them from pulling their arm out. Next, push off on their hips to bring your body perpendicular to theirs. Clamp down on their shoulders to keep them from slipping it out, you almost want to think about kicking them on the back of the neck. In one motion, bring your other leg over their head and curl it down to keep everything in tight. To finish, just grab their wrist and bridge your hips. Or you could pummel your underhook under their top arm and extend your hips for an inverted armbar finish. If they pull their arm out as you step over, you can also transition to the triangle. Another thing the armbar has going for it is the fact that it's so versatile. You can also hit it from the mount, from side control, and from back control. Our next move, the triangle, is a great submission for both beginner and advanced grapplers. From the overhook, switch your hips out to the side, step on your partner's hip, then grab your partner's wrist, shove it to their chest, and throw your leg over the back of their neck. Bring your shoulders out so you have enough room to triangle your legs, and sometimes it helps if you grab your own shin. And if you don't have the overhook, just cup their head, step on their hip, and do everything the exact same way as before. And if you get to the triangle but you can't finish with the choke, you can always finish with the triangle armbar, or you can throw your leg over their head to make it a lot tighter. The triangle is another versatile submission. You can also hit it from side control. As well as from the mount. Our third move is going to be a standing guard break because in my experience those are the most effective ones. Before going for this, it's important to address any grips that your partner tries to throw up. Grab your partner's gi right in his armpits, straighten your arms, and then lean forward so you can walk up and place your knees directly under their hips. Sit back like you're sitting in a chair and arch your back so that you can keep good balance. If your partner tries to break down your posture again, be sure to put their shoulders back on the mat before you finish this guard break. Place your open hand directly under their kneecap and push down to open their guard. 
You can also post in your partner's biceps before you straight arm to stand up. And another way to finish the guard break is to just scoop under their top leg and shuck it across. I actually learned this guard break at my first seminar from UFC welterweight James Krause. And our next move is going to be an escape from the mount. Knee your partner in the butt to make them touch the mat, this will make their hips lighter. Then turn to your side and frame on your partner's hip with both your hands while keeping your elbows close to your body. Bring your bottom knee under your partner's shin, exposing their foot, and then step over with your top leg to lock it up. Then block their knee with your forearm so that you can bring your bottom leg up and around, putting them into half guard. Another option if you can't bring your knee under their shin is to just grab their foot and place it in your guard. And if they have their ankles under your hips, you can use your top foot as a butterfly hook to put them back in your guard. Our last move today will be an escape from side control. Bring your hands to frame in your partner's armpit and inside their elbow. Bring your hips out at an angle and bridge hard. Then block their leg with your bottom knee and extend it to give yourself enough room to retain butterfly guard. And once you bump, you can also go straight to close guard. An important detail on this move that a lot of people mess up is once you bring your knee in, you have to fully extend your body Otherwise, you won't have enough space to retain guard. And when you bump, if they try to pressure back into you, you can stiff arm their elbow and roll them across your body. All right, guys, those are our five moves for today. Now I'm out here. I just set up a brand new complete today. Super nice board, really, really good pop to it. So I'm gonna hit a quick little session and afterwards we're gonna wrap up the video with some final thoughts. All right guys, that was actually a pretty good skate sesh that we just hit. Now, those shove were a little sketch on the landings, but it's still a work in progress. I promise the next time you see me, they're gonna be a lot smoother. Like I said guys, the five moves we went over today were moves that I was using a lot in the first year, two years that I started training. You're gonna find yourself in position to hit these moves a lot, especially the escapes that we went over. You're probably gonna find yourself in closed guard a lot, so it's good to have a nice way to get out of it. And then also, it's nice to hit a submission every now and then. That's not too hard for someone to learn in a couple weeks and start hitting on other people at about their same skill level. And if you guys are still watching the video, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and hanging out today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. I post a new video just like this one every Friday, giving you guys the tips that you need to deal with the problems you face on the mats. You guys have been awesome. I've been Jedi. Talk to you next week. Stay consistent. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go?